holy shit, we made it. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Whoa. I can almost, actually, I can probably guarantee a large percentage of you guys skipped the gym today for maybe a few reasons. Maybe all the gyms that you'd maybe had access to were closed, which reasonable situation. I can understand it. I've had to deal with that before, but more likely than not, your gyms were open. Maybe, maybe they had a little bit of a different change in hours. Actually, well, eh, it's only Christmas Eve. I think all the gyms around us are going to be closed tomorrow. But so, for you it's Christmas. For us it's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow I get to just do a home gym basement lift. But you get what I'm trying to say. You probably just slacked off. You want to hang out, eat a little Christmas dinner, open your gifts. Come on. Why don't you try getting real for a change? So I've got legs. What uh, what are you about to hit? Buys and tries. He got, buys, he got arms, total opposite, so he's going to do his own thing. Uh, it's 11.51. I don't think I've lifted in the AM for a, a crazy long time. Feels kind of crazy. But this Planet Fitness closes at 1 p.m., so I'm kind of constrained. I would love to just do a normal home gym lift, but legs in the home gym is kind of rough. I mean... There's not really anything to do. I don't have a hamstring curl. I don't have a leg extension. I'm not just going to do a squat workout. I'm not saying that wouldn't work, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm just going to have a ton of leg curls, laying, seated, maybe some RDLs, but honestly, probably not. I think I'm just going to bias leg curls. And quads, I think I'm going to go a little bit easier on, uh, just because my right quad's still a little tender. So, I don't want to do anything that hurts it. But, if I could do really light leg extensions, and just focus on squeezing and get a burn like that, and it doesn't, like, flare up this whatever little thing I've got pulled, then that works out perfectly, you know? Like, there's a way to work around a tweak. There's a way to work around a little something or other without making the situation worse. You know, I think a lot of people kind of lose track of that key component at the end, the not making it worse. You know, I know you know somebody who every time they're benching, they get a crunchy rotator cuff and they just never do anything about it. I've seen it firsthand, maybe not hundreds of times. I haven't been around that long, but enough where I'm like, oh, is your shoulder, like you talk to somebody enough, you're like, you know their shoulders fucked up. I'm like, hey man, is shoulder still hurting? He's like, yeah, it sucks when I'm benching. And he's loading up two plates on the bench as I'm asking him this kind of stuff. It's nuts. But as, since the gym hours are kind of condensed today, I'm not really sure what the climate's going to look like. I feel like a weatherman trying to predict just how many people are going to be in there. Because you got to think, people who are chilling are going to skip the gym. But since the hours went from like all day to just a few hours, you know, during noon-ish, and anybody who actually wants to lift is probably going to be in there. If I had to make a guess, I think it's going to be packed. So, potentially unfortunate. <laughs> but, I feel the beta alanine tickling my cheeks. Unfortunately, there's no snow. I guess that would really make this a perfect little thumbnail picture. Got the whole Christmas outfits on and everything. But, let's just fast forward to the first working set and uh, hopefully Planet Fitness doesn't shut down the filming. If they do, I'll just kind of be like, come on, man, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. Can I just get a little, couple more sets in? We'll have to see, but uh, let's, uh, let's just get in there. All right, as predicted, hamstring curls is the opener. Now this hamstring curl I like. Something about it, it's just better than the one at, uh, at the other gym I go to right here. So I warmed up, and since it just kind of, I want to say grooves with me, I mean like the whole setup, it's just, I feel very comfortable with a lot of weight. That makes me think, okay, I'm gonna, I want to throw a lot of weight around. So I warmed up to the whole stack. So now I think just do a crazy set. Nothing else to it. Ugh. <sighs> 
Jesus. Let's just do a couple more here. No real need for any commentary in between. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Keep going. I saw a comment that kind of upset me. It was a little bit upsetting. And that's pretty rare. The basic, oh my gosh. The basic premise of the comment was, should I try to push all my sets that hard? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Obviously, look, I'm not gonna say that every set has to be like a near death experience. Like some of my, uh, or like, a crazy set of squats, nose bleeding. They don't know how to be like that. But, I mean, look, you gotta think about it. If your body is capable of doing 15 curls on one side with a dumbbell, and absolutely no more than that, why would you stop at 10? It just doesn't, it doesn't compute, right? Go hard. It's one of the simple tenets of any kind of training. I don't care what sort of set or style or movement or like rep scheme you're doing, go hard. If it's a hard set, it's gonna be good for you. I'd say training intensity is the great equalizer of all different styles of training. If you're a power lifter, if you're a fucking whatever, and you go hard, you're gonna get results. <sighs> so that's just a little bit of a a little bit of a intensity ramp, but I fucking love the way this feels. I'm gonna keep sitting here until, honestly, until hamstrings are done. This will be it. Don't get too bored. So with these sets, I'm being a little bit brutish. I'm kind of just really throwing the weight around, but I don't see that as an inherent negative. Like I do kind of, I feel like I'm always preaching, doing an even mix of light squeezing sets as well as maybe heavier, you know, brutal sets like these. But either way, you're having a good lift. And I kind of feel like I've been doing a lot of light squeezing sets for hamstrings. So it's almost like everything's balancing out. Now I want to do some really heavy kind of just throw it around kind of sets. But after I'm done, I know I'm feeling fatigued and I'm getting really pumped. So whatever you have to do to hit those two outcomes, I think it's within the range of effective training. But enough of that, let's, uh, let's just hit this. All right, come on. Hmm. Um, 
two more. I think two more just like that. And then I'll do some light squeezing leg extensions to finish. strings have been cooked sufficiently. Let's do some light leg extensions just for a little bit of quad activation. Nothing crazy heavy. And then roll. Oh, check the pump first, of course. Yeah. Even doing just one kind of light set, I feel like I'm just kind of messing with myself in that way. So instead of doing quads, I'll just cut it in hamstrings. Give quads a little more time to rest and then really throw them around next leg day and we're good so not a full-on leg pump just hamstrings but i mean it doesn't look like quads are too bad honestly that's fucking that's too, way too much separation Whew. oh yeah there we go that's what i'm aiming for for hamstrings just kind of be like hanging off the back of my leg Absolutely love it, but we're done. Christmas Eve lift, short, but sweet. Hamstrings definitely got fucking thrashed. And I've got no problem giving a whole day for hamstrings. Obviously I prefer to get quads in here too, but I can almost guarantee your hamstrings are slacking. Whew. Everybody's legs are slacking. It's kind of just a fucking rule of life, but Hamstrings, they do not get enough love. I mean, I'll see people's routines, two sets of hamstrings at the end of leg day. Are you nuts? I hope that's not you. But uh, let's get in the car and head back home. A little bit of a quick one today. All right, now that was a freaking, that was a quick one. At least for me, after I finished the hamstring pump, or the hamstring pump check, I just kind of packed up and chilled on the gym floor while he finished arms you're doing overhead rope extensions you like them yeah i like them i don't like them it's too what? wobbly wobbly yeah i feel like it's just i don't i don't care for it i like a dumbbell I like a dumbbell overhead it's good for me it felt like it's just a constant you get the full stretch and full extension with constant tension a perfect example man if you like it then go ahead and do it but i'm not a huge fan so i might stay away so we were yes it was there were a lot of people in there but for me at least i didn't really have to deal with any kind of waiting nobody was doing legs so jumped straight onto a hamstring curl and well i guess nobody was doing hamstrings because that's all uh, that's all that really mattered for me i could have done calves because I didn't do them with cardio this morning. Eh, fuck it, whatever. I'll do it tomorrow. Save it as a little gift. Yeah, I mean, what else is there to discuss? I mean, what's on your Christmas list? Fucking... I, I can't even think of something. Maybe, maybe right down below, what's your Christmas list? Well, actually, by the time you see this, you will have already gotten it if you, uh, if you ask for something normal. If you ask for two tubs of Sulik Select Blue Shark Gummy Pre, maybe that'll be underneath your tree, who knows? But now we get to go home, I gotta wrap all my presents. I've got 
I'll probably get a forearm pump just from sitting there with the scissors for like three hours straight. But that's all we got. What's for dinner? Do we even know? Uh, chicken piccata and eggplant parm. So the chicken I like. I like the idea of the chicken. But the eggplant parm? Questionable. Like, it's good. It's good food, but it's not full of carbs. You know, I would, uh... I'd go for an egg eggplant parm, maybe if I was dieting, right? Because you got to think, you're basically just replacing spaghetti or like the noodles and a pasta with vegetables, you know, eggplant. So I'm, I may prefer a straight up spaghetti or something like that. I'll probably get some kind of rice or a side treat. You know, once you get crazy enough about the lifting that you're messing with your macros, your uh, your family dinners will start to they'll start to shift just a little bit, maybe in their type, maybe in their timing, but they'll start to kind of change a little. Now you're gonna start asking your mom to tell you how much butter she put into the whatever, so you can estimate the amount of fat you got. That's that's a bit more important if you're trying to trim down. You know, family cooking is not conducive with abs. But if you're bulking up, like, yeah, I think you got to track your calories, but it's a little bit less important. You know, I think if you're eating enough food that you know you're gaining weight and the scale's actually changing week to week, then you know, maybe you don't have to track every single macro because right, you're just trying to eat as much as possible. But when you're dieting down, if you eat too much, I mean, for that day, I don't want to. I don't want to say it like it's a all or nothing thing, but you've kind of failed in a way, you know. Like if I've got a day where I get to six o'clock at night and I've eaten my twenty five hundred calories, and there's a thing of like orange sherbet in the freezer, and I think to myself, okay, I'll just have one bite, and then that turns into like half of it, then for that day I have I have failed. I was not in a calorie deficit. I was in a little bit of a surplus. You know, an extra 100 grams of carbs, that'll put you over the limit for sure. But it's not the end of the world either. You know, it's like I was saying in a couple of videos back, as long as your average matches whatever your current goal is, then, you know, a couple of days that are a little bit, uh, a little bit effed up, a little bit off, it's not gonna kill you. Not gonna kill you. Like if today, the Planet Fitness was totally closed and I couldn't do a good leg day, then I guess I'd probably just switch tomorrow's lift with today and do chest in the basement. But it wouldn't kill me to skip a day. I definitely don't want to, though. So now we get to just go home and chill. It feels kind of weird. Usually I lift at like 6 or 7 or even 8, like later. I get the whole day to do whatever. You know, along with eat as much food as... A normal dude would probably chow down on in about three days. So that's it. I'll see you next time, man. Hopefully you didn't skip your lift on Christmas. If you didn't, then good for you. Good for you, man. And if you did, I just, I don't even want to look at you. Turn this thing off. Later.